the famous symbol of New York City, is adding even more fun and commotion to the city that never sleeps. <laughs> yes, right. Joining us this morning with some of the upcoming events happening in one of the world's most visited tourist attractions is Vice President of Art and Culture, Jean Cooney. Thank you for joining us. And you saw yourself on TV. What was I that like? I did. Yeah. That was good. I maybe would have picked a different outfit, but that's Stop all right. Stop it. I'm, still, I'm new to this. So. You were fantastic. You were very stylish. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. No, that was you a really fun day. So there's always something happening at Times Square, um, especially when it comes to music. Yeah. Tell so us about that. We have um, a summer series called TSQ Live. It runs from May through September. Okay. Um, and right now, you can find some form of musical offering most weekdays. So on Tuesdays, you have... Um, DJ sets curated by Brooklyn-based Rash Bar. On Wednesdays, we're doing something called Crossroads Concerts, okay. where one of our neighboring businesses comes out and they present um, some form of live entertainment. This week, it's Havana Central with a Cuban charanga orchestra. Excuse wow. me. This is Excuse diverse. You. What, time do they, what time do they start? So, mostly at 5 p.m. Oh, he's yeah. asleep. He's already taking that. So, you're sleeping. Well, like seven for me. Come on. That's fine. <laughs> but, you know. At 5. Come on. Let's go you five. You want to try it? Right. We'll go with five. And what is it, Wednesdays? Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Wednesdays, and then Thursdays is jazz with jazz at Lincoln Center. We have jazz ensembles coming out. Nice. And then Fridays are pop-up concerts with up-and-coming, mostly local talent. I like that. Now, you also, there's this midnight moment, mm -hmm. adding to a little more of the beautification, if you will. Yeah. What's so that experience? Every single night of the year, in the moments leading up to midnight, something really spectacular happens in Times Square. Really? Every night? Not every single night. It's year. not just the first of the wow. year. Um, it's a program called Midnight Moment, and a little over 90 of our monumental, iconic billboards synchronize and present an artist's video work for three minutes, so 11.57 to 12 a.m. The program's been running for 10 years, so not enough say, New Yorkers know about it 10 years ago. I Did drive you know through there, this? but I'm, it's a little, 2 a.m. now. It's I, gotta, I gotta get up early tomorrow <laughs> and catch it. I had no idea, I had no idea this goes on. Okay, so every train. night yes. this happens That's from 11.57 to 12 midnight. Yep. And different artists. And it's a different artist each month. This month, as you can How see, is Island by Cash. <laughs> it's like, it's a really special, magical kind of moment wow. um, in the center of New York City, and it's, it's a fun Next public time, experience. Next time, now it's during the week only or weekends too? Every single, six, Every 364 night. nights Okay, so at the, the rare moment, I'm in the city <laughs> Late. At 11 I'm not bailing. Yeah, I'm not going to bail. I'm going to wait I'm, until I see that. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, I saw this and I said, no way. <laughs> the concrete jungle experience. Yes. Because there aren't enough spectacular things happening right. at the crossword. So, rooms. in addition to all the things we have going on in our public spaces, our friends at Jamestown and One Times Square have created this augmented reality experience that essentially <laughs> transforms Times Square into a virtual safari. I mean, look at this, an ostrich? <laughs> I mean, and we're playing we're playing a game of rings, rings? with a, wildlife. An is that an elephant? Elephant's trunk. Yeah, they're elephant yeah. trunks, believe it. Yeah, that's what that is. So this is, this yeah. is your, you take your phone. You take your phone. Um, the app is free. Um, it's called The Concrete Jungle, and there's five distinct viewing experiences, and you can see everything from you know, your friendly neighborhood insect to herds of elephants and giraffes in Times Square. Wow. Um, and so it kind of takes the Times Square selfie to a whole new level. It a lot really more going does. on than meets the eye, apparently. I, I gotta like tell it. you, having been born and bred in the mean streets, right. Times Square has come a long way. Oh boy. She it's has from come From the 70s? <laughs> She's come a long But I was thinking, like, if I have out-of-town friends who have kids, yeah. like, and they're in Times Square. Yeah. Great thing to do. No, there's That's something for everyone over there. It's more things wonderful. in the works down the road, I'm sure. More things in the works. Um, you know, Star mentioned the public art installation that we have by Charles Gaines that's on view until September 23rd. Um, midnight moments every month. Right. Now, events. our big question yes. to our viewers is what's the, the strangest or craziest thing you've seen in Times Square? Okay, so they didn't prep me for this question. It's, <laughs> this is why we're journalists. And I we might like to plead the fifth. I mean, you right. know, well, you will yeah. always, you will always yeah, find, let me just say, you'll okay. always find something memorable and truly unforgettable in Times I Square. Saw a, I Jean, saw someone get proposed. <laughs> oh, Times yeah, you see Square? a lot of that. Yeah, She's representing. She can't go, you know, I understand. She's yeah, we can talk off camera. But there you go. Talk off line. <laughs> Jean, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so Great much. Great information.